what happened was is that Flavor Flav was not happy with the Bernie Sanders rally that's going on that was going to feature not only Public Enemy, but also uh, Sarah Silverman mm-hmm. and Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> I'm like, what the what the, what the, what the <laughs> so you got the the world's most militant black band with the world's whitest white dude. <laughs> Day for one of my favorite hip hop groups out there, Oz. Oh no! Uh, Pu- Public Enemy has lost its flavor. Ah, oh, Public man. Enemy it's... has no more flavor. It's like chewing oh. gum. You just sucked all the flavor out of it. Now you chew too long. <laughs> Looking at these folks over here. You know this group was at one time considered to be by some. Now you know it's debatable on how you look at it, but this group was considered to be at one time. By some, the most militant black group alive. Break the power! Break the power! If you want to clear, uh, 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 if you want to clear the room of white people, play this song. Scare them right out. <laughs> you know this shit. <laughs> this is what makes white people lock doors and windows and shit. Or run, you know. They hear that right there. Public enemy would fight the power. Some say the official theme to Spike Lee's classic, Do the Right Thing, led by Chuck D. But people say you, you can't have Public Enemy just with Chuck D. You got to have a little flavor up in there. Mm-hmm. And today, that flavor is gone. Oh, yeah, ter- man. Terrible <clears throat> this, news. This, hap- this, this is what happened. They... It's funny, you know what was uh, what was uh, what was once a group that was considered to be black and strong, a group that was out there making anthems for black people, got broken up over a white dude. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. Yeah. Uh, the, the, as these guys would say, the white devil has struck again. <laughs> Infiltrated, infiltrated, man. The mud, they finally got him. They like the government can't get him. Just get a get a white man to infiltrate the ranks and break him up from the inside. And that's what happened to Public Enemy. And that is what happened with the with that famous hype man right here, Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav, who had some hits of his own, some solo hits of his own. If some uh, some people might remember. Now I dialed 911 a long time ago. On the line, then you did it today. Did y'all, did y'all, did, did y'all catch something? Did y'all, did y'all see something? I want to ask the chat. Chat, let, let me ask you. Did y'all, did y'all catch a little something up in there? That's right, scruffy nerd. Your boy Nick Fury used to hang out with PE back in the day. <laughs> Samuel Jackson, man. Somebody, I like the way chat like, it's Sam Jackson! Mother. <laughs> yeah, this was Sam Jackson back in the day when he was on crack. <laughs> She's not even, he doesn't even know he's in the video. He's looking for a rock right now. <laughs> Move, <laughs> mother. <laughs> but, Damn it, let me hold something. Let me hold something. Yeah, somebody said Pookie Jackson. <laughs> yeah, 911 is a joke, man. It was cool because back then. Heavy D, I'm Heavy D, Chuck D, Heavy D, Heavy D is a completely <laughs> different person. Chuck D would uh, be the guy to come out and, you know, he would be very serious and he would, uh, you know, he, he would lay it down the line like it is, man. He would, you know, and he, it was pretty heavy, you know, his lyrics mm-hmm. and his songs. But Flavor Flav would be the one. He still have a message behind it, but Flavor Flav was kind of like the gesture of the group, man, the comedian of the group. He'd come out and he, he'd bring some levity to the to the to 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 the albums, you know. Once the song is getting, you know, once the album is getting a little bit too heavy, he come in and have a nine one one as a joke in there, and uh, and and ease tensions up a little bit, have some fun. That's why him and Chuck D was such a great duo, man. If any of you are hip hop fans, I know we're getting to that age now where some people I wouldn't doubt if they don't even know who Public Enemy is, but. What's a public animal? Pu- public animal. <laughs> as, as your boy John Witherspoon said, I'll play all that public animal. Who, who needs a public animal? 
Yeah, they were amazing back in the day. Saw them a couple of times. But, you know, there, a lot of people say you can't have one without the other. They were both, uh, they were both in, uh, considered to be creators of the band, Flavor Flav and Chuck D. Mm-hmm. Uh, but today, yes, man, listen, this is what happens. Be careful. Be careful. When you get into business with people, when you get into a partnership with people, whether it be marriage, or whether it be a business partnership, or whether it be a rap duo, because today has fi- it caught up with them. To where they're arguing about who has the power to say what over over what thing in the group. And Flavor Flav said, well, you know what? I got the power to flex a little power in this area of politics. Hmm. And that's what broke them up today. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Oh, you know, I'll tell you where this happened from. I'm looking at Complex, but, you know, most bands are fighting over a, a chick. Or, you know, that's what breaks them up. Turns out the most militant Black band out there to some was broken up over a white dude. Bernie Sanders. Old Bernie came in. Bernie, who's supposed to be about the people, mm-hmm. came in and broke up public enemy, man. I don't know if I can trust that guy anymore now. It <laughs> cost him his presidency, I think. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cost him. What happened was is that Flavor Flav was not happy with the Bernie Sanders rally that's going on that was going to feature not only Public Enemy, but also uh, Sarah Silverman mm-hmm. and Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> I'm like, what the, what the, what the, what the f-? <laughs> So you got the, the world's most militant black band with the world's whitest white dude. <laughs> Hey there, Mary Poppins. Hello, hey there, mate. Hey. <laughs> I, hey, we're having a public enemy, yeah? <laughs> Maybe he's going to be that new hype man. You know what I mean? He's going to come out and take like, flavorless flavor right there. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how this is going down, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I never, if you ever ask me. <laughs> If you would have said, hey, guess who public enemy is, is sharing the stage with back in the day? I never would have guessed the mother from Mary Poppins, Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Maybe they're doing a rap version of, uh, of, of Mary Poppins. I don't know. <laughs> it's called like, Fetching Time. Or yeah, maybe, maybe they're doing Mary Pop That Ass. You know what I'm saying? That's that gangster shit. That's that gangster shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is that. So I can understand Flavor Flav being like, what the fuck? What are we doing, man? No, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> See, what <are> you, doing? <laughs> See, you want? <laughs> we're not doing that. Yeah, man, we ain't going out there doing that shit. But, but here it is. Oh, I don't. Man. I guess the disagreement in politics. But Flavor Flay, that's he said. That's not it. Listen, they could probably explain it better themselves. I'm looking at this on Complex. There's a series of tweets out there. This is Flavor Flav to at Mr. Chuck D. Maybe I should do this in the Flavor Flav uh, voice right here. Yo, you kidding me right now over Bernie Sanders? You, you, you want to destroy something we built 35 years ago over politics? Gee! <laughs> he left that out. All because I don't want to endorse a candidate? I'm very disappointed in you and your decisions right now, Chuck! <laughs> Homie! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now, Chuck. Yo, Chuck, <laughs> over a white dude, over Bernie Chuck. Yo, come on, Chuck. <laughs> so you talking about Charlie Brown? Now man. I'm talking about Charlie Brown. Yo, Chuck. <laughs> uh, oh, so you know what? It's almost like Bernie Sanders is that Yoko Ono man. <laughs> he continues. By saying, <laughs> also at Mr. Chuck D, I'm not on drugs like you're saying and have been clean for 10 years. Have battled addiction before and like millions of other Americans, I know the massive toll it takes. Chuck, you know better than to lie about shit like that, Chuck. That's in the, that's in the, that's in the tweet. Wow. In another thing, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I didn't sue you on Friday. I asked the Ad Bertie Sanders campaign to correct misleading marketing. That's all it was. I'm not your employee. 
I'm your partner. You can't find me. There is no public enemy without Flavor Flav. So let's get it right, boy. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> uh, That's spot on. Yeah, man. Uh, Chuck D responded. He says, uh, I would not have a public enemy please. without. What's that? <laughs> I thought said, motherfucker, please. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I would not have a public enemy without a flavor of death. You know? <laughs> <laughs> However, I will park in the driveway, take off the plates, wait to register when it's running right and drive the smart car enemy radio. I'm not making any sense reading like he says, but he's making an analogy like saying I will wait to bring public enemy back without flavor flavor. That would be public enemy radio. Mm. Then we expect your public enemy support when that vehicle is right and ready. So he acknowledges that yeah, you know what? We can fire you out of the group. You know, we've had, we've had other problems with you, and this was the last straw. There have been many things that they, that they have uh, argued about over the years. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. And all this comes from uh, Flavor Flav when he put a cease and desist on and sent a letter to Bernie Sanders, the campaign. It says here in complex, this comes after Flavor Flav sent a cease and desist letter to the Bernie Sanders campaign following Chuck D announcing that the group would be performing at a live stream Bernie Sanders rally on Sunday <laughs> with Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Sarah, Silver. Sarah Silverman. Prior to formally excommunicating Flavor Flav, Chuck took to Twitter where he pointed to multiple times that Flav refused to support the group. Says his last final. Now, now this is crazy. I don't know if he was stuttering on Twitter with his fingers or what. <laughs> last final note. The last final note was my last straw was long ago. It was not what the. F- I don't know what that means. It was not about Bernie with Flav. He don't know the difference between Bernie Sanders and Barry Sanders. He don't know either. Flav <laughs> refused to support at San Sankofa after at Harry Belafonte inducted us. He don't do that. So th- this is some infighting shit that's been going on. Listen, yeah, 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 this yeah, has yeah, been yeah, bubbling yeah. up for years, man. Groups do go through this all the time. Bands go through this all the time. They're notorious breakups with band and how they hate each other all the time. So, yeah. you know, yeah, it, is, it definitely just sounds like a case where they were trying to figure out a way how to get rid of Well, Chuck D has had it with him and is trying to figure out a way to, oh, yeah. to, to, to get rid of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this was the last show. This was his way of saying, you know what? You after this up, this is the last time, bro. You know, it, it, it's too bad that this has happened. I'm going to tell you something. I saw that this shit was happening. It's not just about Bernie Sanders. I mean, times have changed, and this, this, the, the direction that all of them have taken has been crazy. But I could tell you this shit was going to happen a long time ago when you had Flavor Flav doing that dumbass shit. What was it? Flavor of Love? Love that, man. Don't talk bad about that. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I love that show. That show spawned The Bachelor. I, I, you know what? I, <laughs> All that shit. I, I had, I, listen, I, I, I respect it as fun reality TV or non reality TV, whatever you want to exactly. call it. But for this band at the time, talking about all this, this, this these black issues. Mm-hmm. All these black social issues. All this thing about black intelligence, black enlightenment. You know, uh, uh, going out and, you know, learning your history and learning how to carry yourself so that people can't look at you like you're a you know, like you're an idiot. They go off and do this ignorant shit right here. Flavor Flav, this this goes against everything they were talking about in that group. What? She spit in my face. I don't play that shit. That's up. I don't like nobody spitting. Uh, look at this shit. This motherfucker be looking like looking like a cross between a clock and Captain Crunch and shit, you know. <laughs> Goddamn King Vitamin right here. You know, yeah, look, look like the burger clown. Look at you know, like, yeah. <laughs> The Burger King, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, listen. When I, when I said I want a black bachelor, I don't want this ignorant shit right here. <laughs> you know, I, I'm sorry. Look, I ain't trying to like do your thing, man. But that did not. I'm, I'm not judging, but I'm just saying that did not really coincide with the shit they were talking about. So when I oh, saw dude. Flavor Love and I saw this shit, I was just like, yeah, it, that the 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 golden age of Public Enemy is done. I'm glad they kicked this mother. <laughs> I'm, it was done. The whole message. What? What's the fuck? The, the flavor. Flav, flavor. Flavor. Flav is you know got the fl- a reality show where he's just picking up chicks and making them spit and fight over each other, making black women and, and white women look stupid. Goddamn, PE is on stage with Mary Poppins and Dick Van Dyke. What the fuck is the world coming to right now? 
<laughs> all of it. It is done. The day is done. <laughs> I still think Dick Van Dyke can fix this. <laughs> yeah, just hey man, we can do it. Just just put a clock around his neck. We we got it, man. Look at it. <laughs> what is magical tapping ass? Look yeah, at he's a new hype man, dude. We got it. We got it, man. It's done. It's done. <laughs> And here's what you're going to see at the Public Enemy show. This crowd right here. Yeah. It's great. This is awesome. <laughs> nah, man. Oh, man. man, dancing. Fight the power. Fight the power. <laughs> they lost, didn't they? <laughs> They'll be singing white power. White power. White power. <laughs> But over here on DTMerch.com, we got the size that fits all, man. We all we got all that toasty goodness for different body shapes over there. We don't discriminate against anyone for that, that classic black tooth, the white logo. We know it's in demand. We know how, who are we to deny people that toasty goodness like that? Many sizes, if you got if you got a big ass body, that means you got big ass feet. We can fit those two with those slides that we have right there. You got a big ass head too. Hey, we can fit that. Too.